Welcome to this second video involving simplifying expressions, okay? And we have said, okay, simplifying expressions that is combining the like terms, okay? And what are like terms? Those are terms where you have the same variables, yeah, as a start. So if I look at my, yeah, I have written down five example questions. If I look at my first example question, 5C plus 2C, are there like terms? Yes, there are. Five cups plus two cups. How many cups do I have? I will have seven cups. Yeah, so the answer to that would be 7C. Okay, very good. Moving on to the second question. 4T plus 3T minus 5T. Do I have like terms? Yes, I do. I actually have three like terms yeah, because the variables are the same uh, in all three terms. Four tea bags plus three tea bags, I will have oh, four plus three, I will have seven tea bags. Take away five, so I will have two tea bags. So two tea. I have simplified the expression. Okay, there we go. Third question 8p minus nine plus three p plus 16. Okay, perhaps a little bit more advanced. Yeah, we have to carefully identify the like terms. And we have to realize that the sign belongs to the term directly following it. So what do I mean with that? Well, 8p and 3p, but it's not 8p minus 3p, no. Let me box it. I have 8p and a positive 3p. So actually it's 8p plus 3p. And that indeed is 11p. Then moving on, I have a negative 9, which is a constant, plus 16, those are also like terms, minus 9 plus 16. Or if that is easier for you, 16 minus 9. The answer anyway for both ways is a positive 7. Yeah, minus 9 plus 16 is 7, a positive 7. Yeah, so careful that minus sign belongs to the 9, not a p minus 3p. No, minus 9 plus 16. Moving on to the uh, fourth question. Again, identifying the like terms. I have a 2x, okay, a positive 2x, and a negative 5x. Yeah, that negative belongs to the 5x. 2x minus 5x. So please be very confident and familiar with directed numbers. Eh? 2x minus 5x, that is minus 3x. That shouldn't really trouble you anymore. And then I still have 7y left there, yeah? a positive 7y. So I just put it there. These are unlike terms, so I cannot simplify that any further. Okay, last question here. a plus 7c minus 4a plus 3. Let's identify those like terms. I see two terms with an A. Let me just box that to make sure I don't make a silly mistake because it's A, so 1A, take away 4A. So 1A, take away 4A. Again, that's minus 3A. 7C and 3. Those are unlike terms, so plus 7C plus 3. Explainingmaths.com for more free resources. And you can also ask me your question over there. Facebook, Twitter, all sorts of ways to uh, get into contact uh, with me, all right? Like and share this video if that was useful. And I will see you at the next video for more example questions. I'll see you there.